Sports Illustrated just opened a new store right in your own living room with a large selection of the newest, hottest, and most unique sports merchandise and entertainment releases. At the Sports Illustrated store, you can get the best sports videos like Michael Jordan Airtime. Plus, quick access to championship tapes featuring the Super Bowl, the NBA Finals, the Final Four, and the World Series. There's also high-quality, authentic sports merchandise. The real stuff from NFL Pro Line, NBA Authentics, and Major League Baseball's Authentic Diamond Collection. Our sports collectibles feature the original 1954 first issue of Sports Illustrated as well as signed SI covers from some of the biggest names in sports. Plus, there's also the latest SI book releases. It's sports shopping the easy way. Just look for our product inserts or our Sports Illustrated store ads in the pages of SI. To order, call toll-free 1-800-274-5200. Number one name in sports and the number one name in home entertainment comes the game event for all seasons. Football meets baseball. Two great games in one. Sports Illustrated meets Super Nintendo. You call the play. You throw the pitch. Catch a touchdown pass. Or hit a game-winning home run. America's two favorite pastimes on one game cartridge. Sports Illustrated Championship Football and Baseball. From Malibu Games. Also available on Game Boy. He doesn't like power breakfast. He'll take a pass on poetry. Deep down, he's a grown-up Boy Scout. Way grown. He likes feeling clean and cool and very male. And he knows how to get there. Where have you guys been? Brute. Men are bad. Men are back. Brute. Men are back. swimming in this cold water. For the good of Sports Illustrated, how do I look? We're talking about you, Porter. Here he goes. This year, Sports Illustrated celebrates the 30th anniversary of its swimsuit issue. Hi, I'm Christy Brinkley. Every year, SI has devoted one special edition to the world's most exotic locations and a select group of women who have the natural beauty that's become the SI look. 
This year, Sports Illustrated has chosen swimming pools as the issue's theme. They've covered five continents in search of a location that together with the right model at the right moment will make the perfect shot. And since it's the 30th anniversary, SI will be taking a look at the people and places that turned a little travel article into an American phenomenon. They'll be trying some things you've never seen in the swimsuit issue, as well as featuring some of the world's most beautiful women. One of those women may be the best known of the current generation of Sports Illustrated supermodels, Kathy Ireland. Well, it's 7.30 in the morning here in Santa Barbara, and I have to put on a bathing suit. It's kind of difficult to um, put on a bathing suit first thing in the morning and try to come up with some creative poses. So tough. Somebody's got to do it. Some of those positions they put you in, you know, crawling on the rocks, and uh, they're not all that comfortable. Are you getting a nice shot at my nostril? <laughs> <laughs> all in all, considering the benefits, they definitely outweigh the negatives. So, no complaints. I was 17 when I first started modeling. I met Julie Campbell from Sports Illustrated. She saw some pictures of me in Vogue magazine and she told me that she liked me because I wasn't too skinny. I think it's nice that, at least with Sports Illustrated, the look is healthier. I mean, you have to stay in shape, but you don't have to worry about being so skinny. For me, I just, I love doing sports. I ride my bike, I do all ocean sports and mountain sports. Um, it's fun, that way I don't think about it. And that way I can eat. There's a lot of downtime in this job and you just have to be ready all the time and be able to, to turn it on a lot of times. Ready, go. I think that's the biggest trick, is just if you can keep in your face no pain, whether you're cold or hot or hurting, then, then it looks all right. Shoot Elle, Kathy, and Rachel in, in one picture was uh, sort of a dream that came to be. So once I heard about the three, I started to think of this, this group shot. I mean, it's sort of the Hall of Fame of modeling. It never really occurred to me until after the shot the significance of this photograph. What was interesting about this shot is that we are like three symbols of Sports Illustrated. We're like, you know, the good old faithfuls. And, you know, we have three very distinct personalities. It was fun working with Rachel and Al. Rachel's beautiful. She's got this, you know, full head of blonde hair and she's very healthy and she's very animated. This is the first time I've worked with Kathy. She has that touchableness and reachableness that I think people out there really love, you know, and that draws people and it really comes through on her photos. Elle is gorgeous. She's very athletic, but at the same time she's also got a real sophistication about her. And me, um, <laughs> I'm the little blob there in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> you do some shoots with swimsuits, you stand there and just do whatever, but in Sports Illustrated you try and make the pose different, you try and bring in new stuff all the time. I don't know, make it something a little bit more intimate and brings that person and to the people to you. They want sexy, but at the same time, they, it's not going to be too much. You, you look for something that's alluring. A little tease. I don't like to use the word sexy because I try not to think that way. Uh, I, I like alluring because, it, to me, the connotation is that there's something very special that you want to find, whereas sexy is right in front of your face. I think the worst thing that a girl could do is to try to be sexy. Uh, that just never, or at least it never worked for me. <laughs> I always just uh, was myself and was healthy and happy and, and 
inside and, and that's what showed in the photographs. It's the first day of shoot and it is really blue here. The ocean is blue, the sky. Okay, here we go. Good. I think it's great because you're in a bathing suit or you're in the sun usually and um, I love being in the sun. I love being in a bathing suit so it's really natural, feels natural for me. There is no one that can do what you're going to do. This will be in clear plastic, right? Yes. Yeah. Now where is it before? Now we put this. Beautiful. Then it can go down to two yeah. feet if you had to and up to five. That's great. Yeah. Everything is adjustable. Yep. Beautiful. Let's go put it in. How about the media? We did it. I mean, yeah. You can do a lot with this thing. <laughs> I think it'll work. Here we go. Put your hand in again. Nice. Like this, stretching. Hope she can stand on one leg, eh? <laughs> Before, when I just started, I didn't really know what sexy was. I would say it's, it's, you have to feel it, feel the energy to have it go through your body and through your eyes. That there's an innocence about her sexiness, which I find extremely appealing. <laughs> I have nothing to complain about. Last year's cover girl, Vindala, is one of the magazine's newest stars. And watching her work, it's not hard to see why. I don't do swimsuits for anybody else, only for Julie and for SI. Since I knew I was shooting this year, I take a lot of time out to work specifically for this shoot. Two years ago, I told Vandela she was really too thin for SI, and she went and worked out with a trainer five hours a day for a whole year. And we try and get Vandela to peak for the time that you're supposed to do the shoot, and we really try and look at it as preparing for a race. Uh, he's trying to kill me. She calls me every time she puts two pounds on. I have worked with a number of different athletes, and we all know genetically she's gifted and I am only enhancing that aspect of her genetic prowess. Ah, and, uh, yeah. Once again, uh, I'm not a trainer who is about to sit here and, and, and say that I gave her that body. Uh, oh. Let's talk about today. 13, 14, a squat, leg extension, leg curl. Killing me. <laughs> There's no real fast, quick fix. Yeah. And I'm not here to entertain her, and she's not here to entertain me. We're here to work out, and we're here to get the job done. She wants to be in Sports Illustrated, and, and she looks great. I'm in Mexico, and I love this place. That's nice there, Vanilla. Good, you like this there? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, that's a, nice there, there. There, yes, 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 yes. Well, yeah, yeah. pulling is kind of loud when he shoots. Yeah, 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 but he's a really, really great guy. Yes, 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 yes. And sometimes it's a little confusing because you don't know what what thing you're supposed to be moving. Your leg, your arm, you know. Elbow down a little bit. This one here, the front one. Put them down. Put them down against the wall. We did some photos with Paul down at the beach, which um, since the whole theme is about pools, we haven't really shot that much down at the beach. But we did do some in the surf, and that was a lot of fun because I love the water splashing on the. I want to get your camera. Got all their clothes. Yeah, Hi, pretty boys. good. <laughs> Walter, he's very thoughtful, I think, as a human being and as a photographer. More film. I can't stop. And is looking for really special moments with special lighting and, and special shapes. You got a situation going. Don't stop. It's like surf. When it's good, keep surfing. When the picture's good, keep shooting. Vandala. 
And now we're going to commercial. Tea, everyone. Oh, why, thank you, Vandela. <laughs> this ain't no sipping tea. My acting career is coming slowly but surely, I think. You know, it's one step at a time. It doesn't happen overnight. And, you know, my modeling career took a long time. And I worked really hard at it. And that's the same thing I'm doing with the acting. Beautiful. Lip spa, Elizabeth Arden. Well, basically what we're doing is what we're doing is trying to find to find some trying to find some aspen trees with some pretty aspen trees with hold on just a minute. Let me think how I want to start this. <laughs> Julie really wanted to get this one shot in Aspen. I think that's the whole purpose for her going there was to get this golden leaves. We went up there and there were no yellow leaves. <laughs> I got a call this morning from Sports Illustrated and what they're looking for is some nice pretty golden aspen leaves. All this for Vendela, our golden girl. This is a great shot. It's great. There you go. Yes, yes, yes. Light. If you're on a beach, there's only so much you can do. So to actually be in the woods or create a different situation than just the beach, is what's so exciting about this, I think. This is the picture we came to ask them for. I think the uh, deep blues and the light blues in the water adds to the gold. <laughs> I'm happy. Now, a freeze is 28 degrees or colder, and a frost is 32 to 28 degrees. Freeze advisory over the uh, northern sections of the viewing area. Metropolitan area up the northeastern plain. I don't know. It's uh, below cold. I mean, it's snow. So frost advisory. What a beautiful day. Thank you, God. And the Four Corners area for tonight. Now, if you just warm it up a little bit for Vendela. The location sometimes definitely affects the mood of the picture and the mood of the whole image. Because a lot of times that I'm in a cold location, I have to look like it's 90 degrees. And, and so you just have to feel that heat anyway. I do seem to get a lot of the cold locations, I guess because I'm Swedish, or like Julie says sometimes, I don't complain, so <laughs> I get to go to the cold places. Thanks! So, it's a wrap, you guys. This is really a wrap for today, too. This is my 11th year that I've done it. It's been a great experience. It's a lot of work. Um, it's very demanding work. But, but that keeps it interesting. Um, a, a little challenge is good. You want me to do the list, the consecutive list, if I can remember? Santa Barbara, Aspen Vale, Pantelleria, Sardinia, Valley Hong Kong, Miami, Ormond Beach, St. Martin, Mexico, and then here. I don't know what we did before. Gaffer's tape. <laughs> It's very hard to move 12 people, models that, you know, their booker will tell you that they're coming from New York and inevitably they'll end up coming from, you know, Singapore instead. And you're at a place without a phone in the middle of the jungle and you have to figure out how to change their plane ticket. We make our bags as grungy as possible too, so no one wants to steal them. Julie and I were looking through one of the swimsuit issues the other day, but when you look through the pictures, every picture has a story, and the story is usually not, oh, we were staying at a four-star hotel, and we got up at six, and everything went very smoothly, and this is the shot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. We're okay. You get very tired sometimes to the point of exhaustion, because you're getting up at 4.30 and going to bed at midnight. But you recover. <laughs>
Michelle is essentially a runway model who's done wonderful studio work. What the runway does for me is it brings out the like seductiveness in me. Yeah, that's nice. Because you're using that energy to like seduce the audience. And I'm actually happy I did a show just before coming because my energy was already raised to that level. And so when I got here, it just transferred straight through. Yeah, she's a mover. She has her own style. I like that. Yeah, last time I was here, I was working with this camel that scared me to death. <laughs> I don't have a camel here. With uh, Walter, he's so sexy. <laughs> he's just so sexy and his magnetism appeals to me and I play to that. Beautiful, all of it, Rochelle. I like salt and pepper beards. He's got that. <laughs> I love that laugh. I'm a diva. <laughs> You can't swim, right? <laughs> I'll never let you drown on the swimsuit trip. I think the reason I like this house is because it represents like every intricate, crazy part of me. You know, you've got the wild and crazy colors, you've got eccentric things, you've got expensive things, you've got cheap things, you've got all that mixed up into one. And this house in that way represents me. The pool is cool. Hey, Jane. We can put makeup on for five more minutes, then we don't have to do the picture. Okay, Rishamba. Like anyone's gonna notice in the magazine. Oh, please come out, son. This yeah, is my really. favorite suit. With SI, I think the reason why I enjoy working with them so much and I have no problem with saying yes whenever they call is because I feel like I'm a part of a family. I think SI has changed in the way that it has learned to include a lot more black women and it's allowing the doors to open up to more real women. In that way I think they're changing, they're growing, they're moving with the times and they're opening the doors to the industry not only in sports but you know in entertainment to show that you're beautiful even if you're dark skinned with an afro and dark brown eyes or if you're you know half and half with blonde hair or if you're you know, brown and caramel or Spanish looking or whatever. When they get a black woman on the cover is when they'll be really doing good, okay? <laughs> uh, we're gonna do a double. We're gonna try uh, a double. Woo! Hey! Actually, this is how we relax. Between shots for swimsuits. The first time I worked for Sports Illustrated, they took me to Cancun, Mexico, in the Yucatan, and we stayed at the President of Mexico's private summer home. There was nothing else there. It hadn't been developed yet. And the first morning, I remember waking up, and I looked out my window, and it was crystal clear, turquoise water, just gorgeous, white sand. And Julie Campbell knocked at the door, and she said, come on, girls, time to work. And she handed me this tiny little piece of material and said, put this on. And so I was really, really sort of nervous to appear in this thing. And I'd never posed in anything that didn't have pockets before. So here I am, it's like, what do I do with my hands? And so I started like, oh, I'll put them in my hair. No, maybe, maybe behind my back, uh, over here. And Julie Campbell, I hear her say, wow, look at the way she moves. It's fabulous. I just didn't know what I was doing, and it somehow worked. I've never been in Sports Illustrated before, so when Julie Campbell called me to be in the swimsuit issue, I was really excited. And I was really lucky because I got sent to Hong Kong. My name's Kate James. You look beautiful, Kate. Absolutely beautiful.
All you can do is get a crab. So you've got the space to work in, Kate. Hong Kong was just unbelievable. Julie Campbell wanted to really get a sense of where we were, so we shot on a crowded downtown street. And there I was in the middle of Hong Kong in a bathing suit. Quite an incredible setting, something I'll never forget. Working with Kate has been a real pleasure because she's so young and innocent, but at the same time, I think she's a perfect girl for Sports Illustrated. When I first started modeling swimsuits, I think it was the most embarrassing moments of my life. <laughs> it was like my whole body was uncovered to the public eye. There's like an innocent and young sexiness that's very alluring. That's beautiful, Kate. Perfect. My dad said when I was born, he was really upset because I was so ugly. <laughs> and here I am, voila. Perfect. That's a girl. That's beautiful. Hold on. Okay, I'm ready. That's beautiful, Kate. Perfect. You can probably tell I really love the water, but after an hour pulling myself out of a pool, I was ready for a break. I think she's going to be a star. Oh. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> <Voila>. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to behave, the camera's here. That's beautiful, Kate. Shooting at night was such a beautiful setup. Donna's got such a great eye. And you know, when I started this job, I didn't even know who the photographer was. And then I met Donna, and I found out she was the first female ever to shoot on a Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. She's great, and a great friend too. She's really working it well. You look fantastic. When people say, how old are you? They look surprised when I tell them. So now I just sort of play the game, how old do you think I am? Well done, very well done. Oh, oh. We're almost finished. Yeah, we're almost done. She's going to be a great model. Mark my words. That's a good idea. Now that's one sexy girl. Yay. I just did the, the last issue when I turned 40 and I know that I could uh, do the issue when I turned 50 and look better than I did when I was 20. Um, more fit, certainly healthier, um, even happier. I might have a few laugh lines but I think that's not bad. <laughs> I've laughed a lot. <laughs> go swimming in this cold water. For the good of Sports Illustrated, how do I look? Here he comes. We shot at this pink house in Miami that had a porthole. It was a fun day. I was standing on the outside, I was dry. Porter was basically kind of a trained seal that day. We're talking about you, Porter. Hey, that's what assistants are for. Yay, Porter! What am I, chopped liver? 
The guy does one quick shot in the water and he's a god. I love working with Walter. Walter's um, definitely one of my favorite photographers. This arm stretched back a little more, and this arm like this. It's just so effortless and so much fun, which to me is how you make the best pictures, just by enjoying where you are and having a laugh. That's when the best stuff really gets done. Julie just knows what's right when she talks to the girls and she gets to know them. The girl may be pretty, but if she doesn't like the personality, she doesn't take the girl. The girl has to have a certain quality to her. They all have personality. I mean, look at Stacy. What are you thinking of shooting this? Uh, well, did you? Stace. Was she in there? I don't. She's not in anything. Not in anything. So I want to oh. know what we're doing. I think I should wear the that long, warm coat. <laughs> <laughs> Is the light good enough to do a silver lace on her? Put it on. Let's try it. Now, yeah, but where are we going to put her? Because it's not going to mean anything. I, sh I should have a warm color then, because that's a cool color. Okay, Stace, you want to do? Uh, take off that damn thing. Gotta get some activity. All right, you can do anything you want. Okay. All right, good, nice. This is gonna be a nice show. See, this is funny. You come out here this morning, Joe, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Oh my God. Oh, Stacy. We're done, Stace. Good job. Oh yeah. It was, it was good. Hola. ¿Cómo está? Dos. Dos chiquitas bonitas. Yo soy Stacy. Corriada. That's the one thing I always remember about every place. I might forget the hotel or the beaches, but I always remember the kids. Like specific children. Yeah. Great. The splashing straight. There, yeah, yeah, on the side of the pool's good. Good. Come on. Again. Let's smile again. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Great. That's it. Yes. In Mexico, I took a boat trip through the protected area of the wetlands. A lot of places around the world, what they do is they, uh, they attract a lot of people because of the natural beauty. Mm, then they build right. so much that there's mm. no more natural beauty, and then people don't go anymore. We're trying to set an example in Mexico, just mm. that uh, you have to take care of things. Yeah. Something's got to change. Something's got to break. That's for sure. Stacy is the essence of woman. She's got so much allure, she doesn't have to give the picture more. I didn't even look at the white dress because there were no mirrors. But it felt like a nice shot. It felt right. Sometimes you just know. I know that I've always felt that you're like a second mother to me even now, after 10 years of working with you. You have a way of inspiring us to do things that we wouldn't normally do. She made me feel good about myself and about my body. She was a big influence in my career, in my life. I know what your potential is, and uh, and I know, basically, you're very shy. Some of us feel more comfortable in some suits, and some of us don't. And, um, <laughs> and she respects that. 
some mornings I think if they see me look tired, they're all gonna let down. So I come out and say, hi guys, we're at it, let's go. Julie really wants the models to, to let their own personality come out. And she encourages it and she gives you guidance along with it. That's important too, because she'll make you look good. You know, you can trust Julie to be there um, for you. You're beautiful, you have energy. I'm trying to show that you're more than a model. You're gonna look beautiful, kid. Mm. <laughs> we're here in St. Martin and we're at the beach and doing lots of bathing suit shots. <laughs> Ingi on deck, looking hot. The ones that I'm going to wear today are very pretty. Very modern. You'll see, they're funky looking. I like them. They're all different and, and they all go well with the place we're shooting. There's one vest, like a fishnet vest. It's kind of see-through though. <laughs> Almost had a picture start. What are we going to do? You can't shoot it all this way? I barely shot anything. I haven't even shot a roll. I'm not lifting my camera yet. As soon as I do it, the sun goes in. It's going to be here for like 12 hours. Oh. Oh, see, I lifted the camera and the sun went in. Oh, she's working now. Oh, she's got those legs open. It's a whole roll. Unbelievable! My father wanted me to go to university. Never, like, gave interest in this career because he didn't understand, you know, what it was. But now, I mean, my father is a banker. <laughs> I need to get the money coming in. <laughs> what I like the most? Traveling. Traveling, going to beautiful places. I like to take all the opportunities about the modeling business. I read a lot of books about the countries where I go. You know, about the cultures and everything. I try to understand, like here, you know. I didn't know that it was Dutch, French, and English. And it's very funny for me to hear the three languages that I speak fluently, three of them. So, like, it's interesting. Are you ready to go back? Uh, yeah. Why not? It's been short, but it was beautiful. <laughs> The bugs are something that every SI model has to contend with because you go to some places where you cannot believe the size of these things. Like the Seychelles were amongst the buggiest islands. The most beautiful, but the most bugs. They had these giant granite boulders on an island called La Digue. Beautiful shaped boulders. But between them were these huge webs strung across with spiders the size of my hand. And we would see these all day long. And um, so one day, Julie was using these, the areas between the boulders as dressing rooms. And she pulls the bags into this little crevice and she goes, okay, Christy, come on, I got a suit for you. And I come running along in and boing, spider web right across my face. And I know that that big spider's in there. I go, whoa, and I see this black thing caught in my hair over here. So I said, oh my God, whoa, Julie. And Julie goes, ah, ah. And her reaction, I, I, I'm sure that it's a big hairy thing. And so I'm screaming, wow. Walter comes over, I said, Walter, get it out, get it out, ah. And Walter comes over, he goes, oh, oh. He's like afraid to touch the thing too. So they say, just jump in the water, jump in the water. I'm in the water, I'm like, ah, get this thing off of me. All of a sudden it flies out and it's, one of those hair combs, you know, that you attach your hair backwards. Oh, 
she looks cute in a bathing suit. Oh, me, oh, my, I see reflections of her in everyone's eye. When this peach is on the beach, I'll make a bet with you. She will make a man of 90 wish that he was 62. She looks cute in a bathing suit, all men agree. She could be Miss America for eternity, oh baby, she's the one for me. Costa Carreras was one of the most beautiful and peaceful places I ever worked. Shooting in a location like this, it makes it easy for me to get into the beauty of the photograph. Actually, one of the most beautiful swimming pools in the world. And there's everybody. Aha! Uh -huh, who I'm looking? And now I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And I'm getting crazy. Patricia is getting crazy. In Mexico. Stop it! I'm all this, you know. I'm just kidding. When we were in Bali, in Indonesia, it was much the same thing. Beautiful, exotic. And of all the countries I've been, I've never been in a country where the people are so good. I'm Patricia. After, Wayan. Wayan, yeah. okay. Yeah. We're here in a fa photo shoot. Huh? Fashion shoot, photo shoot for, oh, a, yeah. for a magazine called Sports Illustrated. They're such an honest, simple, happy, such a refreshing thing to see. Oh, they're little sardines. I, I put it back. Oh. Here it's very natural. I mean, they do it and they eat it. If I throw it back, they maybe take me and throw me back. In Spanish, we call them sopitos. You eat them fried and they taste really, really good. That's for after the shit. It's a shame you guys cannot smell. It's very fishy. <laughs> That's absolutely beautiful. Perfect. She's very, very, very good. Because not every girl can handle a prop and umbrella and be grateful. She's done dance for years, since she was four years old. I started modeling quite by accident. A friend of mine went on an audition, and a picture she had of me fell out of her book. The agent ended up calling me, and after a month, I was in Milan. I have the opportunity to do print work, run my modeling, and even television commercials. In fact, I'm proud to be the first Latin model to receive a cover girl contract. Porque una modelo cover girl no nace, se hace. Tomorrow morning, no matter what the weather, unless it's raining, right. I'd like to do the sarong on Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> um, topless, just standing in the column under that pagoda like this. Today you're Balinese. Julie kept telling me that one day I was Venezuelan, the next day I was Mexican, and the next Balinese. Who knows what tomorrow will bring? 
Let's do that again. That was nice. Ooh, look up there. Yeah, up like that. Perfect. Okay, hold it. You know when something's good, but then sometimes just a person's face or a body movement you don't see sometime when the motor's going off. Or maybe one frame. You'll see a lot of good ones and there's just one frame that stands out. You might have taken 10 rolls on one situation and it'll come down to one shot. I mean, it just keeps illuminating like this and suddenly you're left with a slide. And you know, it's, it blows everything out. I like surprises. This year we're shooting with the U.S. National Water Polo Team. I think that's a surprise. We're photographing these athletes with Al, Kathy, and Dara Torres Gowan, who has four Olympic medals as a swimmer. The girls are still going to look beautiful. Uh, it's just a new thing. Pretty hush hush. Until about a couple weeks ago. So, uh, yeah, once we, once we found out, you know. Panic! <laughs> I thought I was a little soft in areas, and so I did a little aerobic work for the past month. Diet. Cut down a lot on, on my fat intake. Crash diet. I've really been running a lot. I don't think she ate for 10 days before she came. And then when I got to the fitting, they ordered food anyway, so we ended up eating, and, and I just kind of like sucked it in a little bit. <laughs> Conehead. He's shooting up there. I just want to see faces. One, two, three. One, two, three. Woo! That's what he said. Woo! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have a good time? Yes! Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> the magazine has always been fashioned around the water, so you know, the, there's always been water work, but not as intense as, as it is this trip. This is going to be on the cover! I can feel it! It's more my forte swimming underwater than uh, being up out of the water. <laughs> I was comfortable down there. <laughs> ah. In the beginning we were doing this shot and the, the, the guys were in the water and Kathy, Dara and I were walking past. that Elle was the one who was closest to them because, you know, she could really play with them. Oh. The guys were like wolf whistling and, I mean, you know, normal construction worker type stuff. All these whistles and moans. <laughs> I didn't expect them to be so into what we were doing. They're naturals. Uh, it wasn't hard at all. <laughs> Very <laughs> easy to measure. Are you kidding me? <laughs> And then we did the same to them. Love it. it was funny because they were a lot more embarrassed than we were. You could tell by the way they were walking a bit awkwardly. Left, right, now don't fall over. <laughs> I think Elle again was the loudest. Sexy Bob. Yeah. Now they know what it's like to be a girl. I felt like a piece of meat. It's all in good fun. This year, Sports Illustrated pulled out all the stops to make the 30th anniversary issue the best. 
The people who made the magazine happen on both sides of the camera had a great time, and it shows. Back in the 60s, they called the swimsuit issue Fun in the Sun. And despite 30 years of changes, Fun in the Sun is still what the issue's all about. All right, here we go. We are in Bali. We're here in St. Martin. Sardine is beautiful. It's exotic. Personally, I think it's a great island. I really love it here. It's almost like you can't miss. You just feel there's always a chance that something great could happen. What I like the most, going to beautiful places. It's always warm. In a very beautiful country. Here we are in a little ranch outside of Vallarta, about an hour away from Vallarta. I have no idea where we are. Blonde jokes. You went for a blonde joke? <laughs> Why was the blonde proud of herself after she finished a jigsaw puzzle after six months? This is my party, I'm burned out. Because on the box it said three to five years. Ah, these are my feet. Cuckoo. So, what used to be in those cans that are attached to your hair? What they used to? What used to be inside of them? All the beer that I drank yesterday night. <laughs> Anything to drink, sir? <laughs> You'll get seasick. You'll get seasick. <laughs> Bye. 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 You're not invited. Sorry. <laughs>